Hello, my name is Robbie Sachs from Dealer Service in Chicago, Illinois. Not that you're ever going to have an issue with one of our internal gear hubs, but if you do, we're going to send you new guts and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the new guts on one of our iMotion 3 hubs. The first thing I'm going to do is take the outer lock nut off of the hub. And one thing I like to do is to put everything down in the order that I take it off. So it makes it easy to install and I don't have to think about which direction it's going to go in when I put it back on. Lock nut comes off. No turn washer. One spacer. And the cable connector arm. Next I'm going to place the axle in the vise. This is very easy to do because we have two flats on our axles that make it very vice friendly. The axle goes on with the drive side on the bottom of the hub and the coaster arm facing up. This is because the guts only come out one way. I need to take my axle nut off of the coaster side. Then my no turn washer. Then I have access to two 22 millimeter nuts that hold the hub so that you get no play. I'm going to take a 22 millimeter wrench, slide it on the lower nut, then another 22 mil, and break this fit. Once I have that off, it's very easy to remove these two nuts by hand. I'm going to unscrew the top one, and then I'm going to unscrew the second one. This is going to give me access to my brake coaster arm, which is going to come off as one piece with my bearings and a retainer so that I'm not going to lose parts while I'm working on this hub. Now I can remove the hub shell from the guts of the hub. I can pull the wheel up and everything remains on the axle vise. All of these parts, there's nothing that's going to unspring, no pawls are going to come flying off. I can then take this part and replace it with my new guts. So I would have my new guts in the, in the uh, bench vise in the same orientation. Hub shell goes right back on and I'm going to take my coaster arm and orient it till it slides all the way down. My first lock nut. I'm going to adjust this one until it's snug, just until the plate comes out of the hub axle. I'm going to take my second axle nut. I'm going to hold my adjustment on the first axle nut with a 22 millimeter wrench and use the second to lock these in place against each other. Then I'm going to take my no turn washer Put the serrated side down, slide that onto the axle, and last I'll put on my axle nut. My cable connector arm goes with the ridge facing out, slides onto the axle, and I'll take one spacer, slide that onto the axle. My no turn washer with the serrets facing in, and then my last axle nut. Now everything's back together. I'm ready to put it back on my bike and go for a ride.